Hey y'all, welcome to Racing Crafts. Today I'm going to show you how to make some really cute backgrounds. Um, these are the ones I've done. I'm going to work on this one today. I'm going to show you how to make. Um, the same technique is used in all of them. <coughs> Sorry for my voice and the coughing. I'm still not all the way better. I've been sick for oh two or three weeks I'd say. Okay, what you're going to need is you're going to need a piece of cardstock, and I'm going to use this icky background page here. Um, all I did was cut this, I think it's four and a quarter by five and a half or something like that. It's four by, yeah, about four by five and a quarter, a little bigger maybe. Um, and I ran it through my... <coughs> Swiss, or I'm sorry, swirls, cuddle bug, embossing folder. It's all I've done is just regular white cardstock, and I'm going to take some black acrylic paint here, and I'm using Shinies by Folk Art. Folk Art, I'm sorry. And all I've got is a makeup sponge that I'm using. You could use this, um, I, um, Tim Holtz, Distress, Paint Daubers. You could use any kind of paint dauber like that. It doesn't matter what you use. And then all you're going to do is just get your paint on here. Oh. Give me a sec here. i got to cut this tip off. Okay, get some more paint here, and that's it. That's all you got to do, and you're just going to cover your whole paper, just like that, and you're just going to cover it all, and I've got one that's already done. You want to let it dry. Let me grab this guy. See, I just covered the whole thing in black acrylic paint. <coughs> And then um, you need a sanding block. I just have some sanding paper here that I had a piece laying around. And I just wrapped it around one of my acrylic blocks for my stamps. That's all I did. And you're just going to sand your paper. And I apologize if the camera shakes and wiggles and moves. And you're just going to sand off the paint from your embossed image. Now, because of the way my table is, set up. Not all of my paint is going to come completely off my designs, but I'm okay with that. And I happen to go in a circular motion because I find that works better for me. <coughs> Sorry. And you're just going to sand it. And I just kind of move it around. Till I get it where I want it. How I want it done. Alright. And now, I just kind of blow off my background <coughs> and my sanded piece. And because of the way my table is, I stuck two of my little stamping pads from, they come in the close to my heart stamp um, sets. 
So, okay, this is what you should have, or something very similar to it. Now, all I'm going to do is take some Tim Holtz Distress Ink, and I'm going to go ahead and grab a baby wipe, because I'll need a baby wipe. <coughs> I'm using Barn Door by Tim Holtz. You can use any color. You could probably... You don't have to necessarily use Tim Holtz. I'm sure any ink pad you have will work. And all you're going to do is just rub it over it. Just like that. And then I'm going to come in with my baby wipe and just wipe it off. It should come off pretty decent off of the acrylic paint. And then I'm just going to flip it over to my other. I do it, you know, a half or three quarters at a time. It kind of cuts down on the amount of ink it get all over your fingers and you're just gonna rub it over it just like you did the other side and then I'm gonna grab my baby wipe and wipe it Just like that. And there we go. That's our finished background. It's so easy, but yet I think they are so cute. I can't wait to start using them. Here's one I did with white. Um, this one I used white metallic paint by Folk Art. It's the pearl white. And then I used um, faded jeans. And the Snowflake 2 Cuddle Bug cartridge. Or, not cartridge. Embossing folder. So, thanks for stopping by. I'll see y'all next time.